Hello. Welcome back to The Vocalist. My name is Bethany and today yet another first time reaction for me. Um, we are listening to the singer Cem Adrian. He is a Turkish singer and we're gonna hear his cover of Summertime. He has so many songs online to choose from but this is the video that was sent to me so we're gonna start here and then I will await your recommendations as to what we should hear next. Let's do it. I was not expecting that. Um, we're going like all the way back. That pianist, come on. <sighs> there is nothing more exhilarating as a singer than having like a good pianist. Like just knowing like you have someone who is willing to collaborate with you, who is like bringing so much to a performance and is allowing you, you know, a lot of people talk about feeding off of an audience, but there's just something so special about like feeding off a pianist and like working together and collaborating and just, mm, I love that. So, <laughs> um, maybe it was like the microphone. I don't know. I was expecting some sort of like old school crooner voice to come out. So to hear this, like, silky smooth falsetto jazz interpretation I just wasn't ready for it um <laughs> if you're new here I like to pause and talk a lot so we're gonna go back to the beginning I want to hear that that piano intro again but I'm gonna kind of pause along the way to point some stuff out saw that right look at that beautiful jaw action so like using your articulators to create different colors and different sounds <sighs> come on that's so good summer, summer time. Uh. <laughs> oh I'm in trouble I really like this I I could pick this apart for days. I love what he's doing. Those like additional pulses 
we're so early in in this piece like to add so much in such a short period of time it, it's very surprising because you really don't hear that very often I think you either hear this as an opera ari ar opera aria or you hear someone's interpretation more so in that like old school jazz sort of American songbook-esque style and this is so cool <laughs> I love that he's playing around with the meter as well, like the tempo, like not sticking with that traditional melodic rhythm that we're used to. Um, you could hear heh, that little H in front. When you're in falsetto like this, you don't necessarily want to use a fry because it would kind of ruin the mood that you've already set. So using that H, that little aspiration heh, is a great way to sort of help the chords come together a little bit more easily, but very gently rather than that, uh, that fry sound. One more time. I really love how much depth he had in that little that little riff and still in falsetto he has oh golly he's got a little bit of that sort of like counter tenor sound uh, I don't even I'm not even gonna put like a name on this it's very beautiful Oh, it's so smooth. It's so luxurious. Oh my gosh. Like he's just digging into that. Oh, so, mm. okay. Did you guys that collab that's what I'm talking about collaboration like having a pianist who is just on point with you obviously they've rehearsed but that timing like that timing is so good I wasn't ready. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going back. I, I wasn't ready for that. Oh my gosh. before he sings, it's almost like, oh golly, my brain is going a million miles an hour because it's got not, it's not like a character voice. It's got just like this tiny bit of like operatic cover, you know, that it's like that kind of like bass baritone sound. And so hearing, <laughs> Hearing his falsetto, I wasn't anticipating this, this kind of sound from like his chest voice. So oh, I'm just very excited to see where this goes. Summertime, in the sea, fish are jumping when the garden is high, 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 high. Oh, yo, that is great.
Okay, <laughs> this is making me so happy. Um, that little trumpet sound, it's <laughs> its basically a, a version of SOVT exercises and it's so, oh, he's so, I can't even, he's so smart. Like um, whenever you do that sound, I can't do it very well because that's not, I, yeah, no, but um. Actually, now I'm wondering, like, maybe if I practiced, I had to hear better without the, the ear button. Um, whenever you make that sound, what's happening is, like, you're allowing your cheeks to puff to kind of, like, help with air pressure. And so you can use this. Um, well, when I say SOVT, um, it's semi-occluded vocal tract exercises. Basically, you're just not opening your mouth all the way and... Yeah, I like lip trills or whenever you do like um, blowing on like hot soup or like um, like you can make um, noises like that that have like the air contained in a way. Um, and that's that's one of them, except in this case, like he's actually phonating. But I love I just love what he's doing. This is so new. This is so different from anything I've heard um, in regards to this song and like at a jazz club or any just anything I've ever heard. I I want to listen to that trumpet again. And right there, like the air pressure, like that rearticulation of air. Summertime when the level is easy, 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 yeah. Free and jumping when the cotton is high, yeah, 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 He just did so many things. Oh my gosh. This is... Oh man. When we talk about the voice as an instrument, he is the summation of like so many colors, so many textures. Like you can do so much with your voice. And he, I love that he's doing it. He's using it. Um, wow. There was definitely some false chord engagement, I think, at the end there. Um, Summertime. think it sounds like his false chords were engaged the whole time and so it was more like throat singing at first um because not only were his false chords engaged but also his true chords and then at the end he released his true chords which is why you have a little bit more of that growl without um without the tone it just feels more like speaking one more time <laughs> transition oh my gosh this is so fun Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Hit Hold on. I got a little nervous. <laughs> I don't know if this happens to any of you. I'm going to go back. I, Whenever an audience starts clapping, I always get nervous that they're going to end up doing like the one and three beat as opposed to the two and four. Usually they always start on two and four, but some audiences will like transition to one and three if they can't keep up with like the music um, or like the reverb of the hall. They can't hear it. Um, oh my gosh, he's sitting. <laughs> I just saw that. Hold on. 
Oh, let me go back. Let me go back. So hush, little baby. Don't you cry. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you go. I know I keep pausing this. I feel like the very beginning of this Hit the Road, Jack section is probably like the truest sound. Like, I feel like that's probably closest to his speaking voice that I've heard throughout. And that, so hearing that and then all these other colors that he has created since and will continue to do is just so fun don't you come back no more right there hit the road jack yeah. don't you come back no more no more no more hit the road jack don't you go back no more no hit the road don't you come back no more no hit the road don't you come back no more the road jack don't you come back no oh, no oh, no oh, no no oh, hit the road jack. don't you the tiniest nuance i'm sorry my goodness there's so many things to point out that sound right there i'm going to play it again you can hear that tiny shift into more like nasal resonance and it's again another color like come on this is uh so good don't you come back no more no Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. Don't you come back no more. Don't you come back. Don't you come back. Don't you come back. That was smooth as silk. One more time. No more. Don't you come back no more. Don't you come back. Don't you come back. Don't you come back. No. 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 Can we, um, the breath pressure at the end there? Or stamina, breath control, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> like, um, I want to hear that one more time. Oh, see, it's so long. I have to go back even further. Okay. No, no, no. You can hear so obviously he's using straight tone throughout it's a great tactic when you're sustaining a long note not only for you know the audience's satisfaction but also for your own stamina <laughs> because at least when you have complete control over all of the tension um I want to phrase this correctly. Yeah, when you're in control of like all the tension that's happening like in your throat, in your larynx, um, even in your tongue to sustain these notes and straight tone, um, it's a very steady stream of air. But that in comparison to at the end, you can hear where there was a tiny bit of relaxation in the throat. So that 
if he wanted, that's when he would have allowed the vibrato to come back in. But instead of vibrato, he's choosing like some other stylistic things to do here. Um, let me see if I can point that out. It's a little further back. You can hear just like the slightest deviation right there. So if he wanted, he could have released his vibrato right there, but instead he's doing this super cool thing, because, I mean, that apparently is what he does. Super cool things. And it's like, is he gonna get up there? Is he gonna make it to that note? Yep, he did. That pianist though, oh my gosh. I am very curious to get your recommendations as to what I should hear next because this performance was, I mean, it was stunning and it was so fun to see like all of his technical know-how and ability but I imagine like he has some more intimate pieces and some that maybe are a little bit more emotional I don't know I would just I feel like he has so much variety and so I want to hear something that you guys would say is very like true to his style and and the kind of music that he would normally sing or maybe this is, maybe he just like does crazy impressive stuff all the time. I don't know, but either way, this was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.